Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raiman. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. If you want to keep updated in all my video lessons, please subscribe to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raimon. Or simply, you may follow these steps in liking and in subscribing my channel. Click the bell, then click all, then you'll receive notifications in all my video lessons. Hello everyone, it's your teacher Jem once again. And this time, let us discuss the additional activities and the assessment part of your Module 8, still part in your Week 8 lesson of Quarter 3 in Mathematics 6. So this is the Part 4 of our video lesson in your Module 8 in Mathematics 6, Quarter 3. Kung hindi mo napanood ang ating past video lesson class in your Module 8, pwede mo itong balikan yung Part 1 natin part 2 at saka part 3 ng ating module 8 still part in your week 8 lesson in math 6 quarter 3 so pwede nyo itong panoorin ulit sa aking youtube channel welcome to our mathematics class and it's checking time I hope you have your copies there in your answer in the assessment and the additional activities part of your module because we will now check your answer on this part Please get ready. Okay, let's answer first your assessment in your module 8. Are you ready? Do you have with you your answers now in this assessment part? Very good. For part A, you are given 5 items. And for part B, you are given 4 items in your assessment. Let's start with number 1. Find the surface area of this solid figure. We have square pyramid. Now, can you still remember the formula in finding the surface area of a square pyramid? Yes. We have SA equals base area plus lateral area. Now, what is the base of our a pyramid here? Yes, it's a square pyramid. That's why we will use S squared. So, since square ang, ang kanyang base, so ang gagamitin natin na formula is S squared. This is how to get the area of a square. Next, we have the lateral area which is the triangle. And how many triangles? Yes, we have four. Can you still remember the formula in finding the area of the triangle? Yes, we have base times height divided by two. Pero, apat na triangle ito. So, anong gagawin natin? Yes, we will multiply it by 4. Yung formula natin na base times height divided by 2, imo-multiply natin yan sa 4. Yan yan. So, we have SA. So, substitute na natin. Yung S natin dito is 4. Dito yan nakuha class. Side yan ng ating base na square. So, 4 squared yan. Pwede natin paikliin ito no, para uh, hindi na tayo magdi-divide ng malaking number later on. Yung 4 dito class, pwede na yan ma-divide sa 2. Kasi whole number ito at saka yung fraction to, then before we multiply it, pwede na natin itong makancel. Okay, 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. And then 2 divided by 2 will give you 1. So 1 na ang matitira dito sa ilalim, so pwede na hindi isulat. Ang mangyayari, yung 2 na yung gagamitin natin dito. Kasi yan yung natira pag na-divide na yung 4 sa 2, di ba? So, yung base natin, class, of course, that's 4 pa din. At yung height natin will give you 10. Ito yung height natin, class. Height ng triangle, class. Hindi yung height ng pyramid, ha? Height ng triangle dito. Yung slant height ng pyramid. So, that is how we substitute our given dimensions in our formula. So, 4 times 4 will give you 16 squ meters squared. And then, we have... 80. Sa paano natin nakuha yung 80? 4 times 10 is 40. Then, 40 times 2 is 80. So, pwede na tayong mag-add dyan, class. 16 plus 80 will give you 96 square meters. Ito na yung final answer natin for our surface area of the square pyramid for number 1. Let's proceed to number 2. What shape is that? Yes, that's cone and we use this formula. Ito yung longer na formula class. Pero, sa sinabi ko na last time, pwede natin itong gamitin. Okay? Yung shortened na formula para mas maikli na ang ating solution. 
Okay, let's have our substitution now. So, pi, we have 3.14. Yung radius natin dito is 5. So, we'll substitute it by 5. Then, open parenthesis, r here is 5 also. Ito yung r na yan. And then, we have plus 7. Ito yung slant height ng ating cone. Okay, 3.14 times 5 will give you 15.7 centimeters. Yung 5 plus 7 centimeters will give you 12 centimeters. Yung 12 centimeters natin dito, class, i-multiply natin yan sa 15.7, will give you 188.4 square centimeter. Yan lang kadali kung paano mag-solve ng ating surface area ng cone. Next, we have the cylinder. Yung cylinder natin dito, we'll have the formula of 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. This is the formula in finding the surface area of the cylinder. Pero, this is a longer formula. We can use the shorter formula to solve for the surface area of the cylinder. So, gamit yung shorter formula natin, class, we'll have 2 and then 3.14 here sa pi natin. At saka yung radius natin is 2. Ito yung radius natin, class. Yan. Times 2m plus 12m. Yung 12m natin or 12 meters natin dito, class, it's your height. So, 2 times 3.14 times 2. O if multiply mo na yung tatlong yan, class. Yes, it will give you 12.56. I-add mo din to. So, how much that? Correct, that's 14. So, 14 times 12.56 will give you 175.84 square meters. So, ito na yung final answer natin, class, for number 3. Let's have number 4. It's very easy because it's just a cube. Yung cube formula natin is simply 6 times S squared. So, substitute natin yung side natin which is 21 centimeter. So, yan yung class. Yung 21 times 21, how much? Yes, 21 times 21 will give you 441 square centimeters. Very good. So, 441 times 6 will give you, yes, 2,646 square centimeter. Yan yung surface area ng ating cube na nasa screen ngayon. Di ba? It's very easy lang. Number 5, we have rectangular prism. So, yung rectangular prism class, kinakailangan na i-determine natin yung mga dimensions nila. So, we will indicate here dimension na length which is 12 meters. And then, the width natin dito is 4 meters. And the height is 2 meters. Now, yung formula natin class, ito, di ba? Pero pwede natin yung paikliin, ito na lang. Gamit natin natin ito last time. This is now the substitution class, no? So, LW here is 12 times 4. LH natin dito is 12 times 2. And WH natin dyan is 4 times 2, no? Substitution natin yan sa ating formula from the given dimension. So, unahin na muna natin isolve itong mga nasa sa loob sa parenthesis. So, 12 times 4 will give you 48. 12 times 2 will give you 24. And 4 times 2 will give you 8. So, i-add na natin yan lahat, class. Will give you 80 square meters. Yung 80 square meters, i-multiply natin sa 2. It will give you 160 square meters. This is now your final answer. Now, let's have the part B of your assessment. Number 1. The surface area of the cube is 486 square centimeters. What is the length of each edge? We need to solve the side of the cube class. You are given the surface area and then you are going to solve for the side. Ito yung solution niya class. SA is equal to 6S squared. Now, yung SA natin dito class, isa substitute natin yung 486. Kasi surface area ang ibinigay. Side ang susolve natin. So ito na yun. 486 square centimeters equals 6 S squared. Now, anong gagawin natin after this? Yes, we will divide both side by 6 para makuha yung 6 dito class. At ang matira na lang sa side na to is S squared. Okay? So, we'll do that. Divide by 6, divide by 6. How much is this? Kung i-divide na? Yes, that's 81 square centimeter. Now, 6 divided by 6, of course, 1. No, Makancel na yan. So, ang matira na lang is S squared. Ngayon, hindi pa yung final answer, class. May 2 pa yan, class. May squared. Papaano ito makakancel? 
Yes! We will use square root for both sides. So, square root natin yan, class. Now, what is the square root of 81 squared centimeter? Yes! Very good. It's 9 centimeter na lang. What is the square root of S squared? Yes! S na lang yung matitira. So, yung final answer natin dito, yung edge na hinahanap natin is 9 centimeter. Yan yung edge ng ating cube. Next, number 2. Each edge of cube is 6 meters long. Find the surface area of the cube. So, ngayon naman, uh, side na ang given. Surface area na ating pukunin. So, we will still use the same formula. Ito na yon. So, substitute yung 6 centimeters dito, dito sa ating side. So, 6 times 6 is 36. And 36 times 6 again will give you 216 square centimeters. Yan yung final answer natin for question number 2. Let's have question number 3. A rectangular prism is 8 meters by 3 meters by 2 meters. Find its surface area. So, para mas madali, let's identify first, no? Medyo mahaba kasi yung formula natin for rectangular prism. Kaya, mas mabuti na i-identify natin yung mga dimensions nila. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. At isa-shorten pa natin para mas madali. So, 2. And then, we'll have this. I'm sure you know already why we come up with this. So, L here is 8 and W is 3. So, 8 by 3 yan. L here is 8 and H here is 2. So, 8 by 2 yan. W here, width here, 3 meters. And height here is 2. So, that's why 3 by 2 yan. So, we will uh, answer now inside the parenthesis. So, we'll have 8 times 3 will give you 24. 8 times 2 will give you 16. And 3 times 2 will give you 6. Solve natin inside the parenthesis or the bracket class. Yung bracket natin dito class, at saka yung parenthesis, iisa lang yung ibig sabihin. So, bakit tayo gumamit ng bracket dito? Kasi gumamit tayo ng parenthesis. Inside the bracket are parenthesis. Hindi pwedeng parenthesis pa din kay magdodoble na. Though they are both grouping symbol. Kapag nasa loob ang parenthesis, bracket na ang gagamitin ninyo. That's why we use bracket in this part. So, 24 plus 16 plus 6 will give you, yes, that's 46 square meters. And 46 square meters times 2 will give you 92 square meters. So, this is now your final answer. Number 4, a hot box is in the shape of cylinder that has a diameter of 12 centimeters and a height of 11 centimeters. How much paper is needed to cover the box? So, ito yung ating formula class. Obviously, that cylinder, di ba? So, paikliin natin yung formula na yan. Gamit na lang tong formula ng na red color dyan class. So, substitute to 3.14 sa pi at saka yung radius natin na 6. So, diameter kasi yung na given dito class. So, ang diameter, half of that is your radius, di ba? So, half of 12 is 6. That's why may 6 tayo dito. And then, another 6 here because may R pa tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. At saka, i-add natin yan sa height which is 11. So, 2 times 3.14 times 6 will give you 37.68 cm. Ito yan class. Yung product ng tatlong yan. And then, addition naman tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. We have 17. 6 plus 11 becomes 17. Yung 17, 17 natin dito class, multiply natin yan sa 37.68 square centimeters. At ang yung final answer natin would be 640.56 square centimeters. So this is your final answer for number 4. So let's proceed to the additional activities part of your module. So here's the problem. GM is making a birthday gift for his father's birthday. The box for the gift he is using is a rectangular prism with a length of 4 meters, a width of 2 meters, and a height of 3 meters. How many square meters of paper does he need to wrap the entire box? So, yung total number of paper no, in square meters na kakailanganin para ma maibalot yung birthday present for the father of GM. So, here are the questions to be answered. So, let's start with number 1. What is asked in the problem? Ano ang kakailanganin natin isolve? Yes, very good. The total number of square meters of paper JM needs to wrap the entire box. So, yan yung tinatanong sa problem natin. Three. Next, number two. What are the given facts that will help you solve the problem? Obviously, 
It's the length which is 4 meters, width of 2 meters, and the height of 3 meters. Ang kakailanganin natin plus yung mga dimensions na to para masolve natin yung surface area ng ating gift for the father of GM. What is the formula that can be solved to solve the problem? So, since this is a box, this is a rectangular prism, so we will use this formula. Okay, ito yung gagamitin natin ng formula. 2 times length times width times length times height plus width times height. So, ito yung ating formula in finding the surface area of the rectangular prism. What is the number sentence? So, isa substitute natin yung given class sa ating formula. So, that would become SA is equal to 2 times 4 times 2 plus 4 times 3 plus 2 times 3. Ito yung ating number sentence at ito ang gagabintin natin para masolve yung problem. So, what is the answer? So, ito yung paano makuha. We have the number sentence na kanina. So, isosolve na natin yan. 2. So, yung 4 times 2 dito class, naging 8 na siya. Plus, copy. 4 times 3 dito, naging 12. Plus, again, copy. And then, 2 times 3, 6 na siya. So, i-add na natin yan inside the bracket. So, that will become 2, then 26. Because 8 plus 12 plus 6 will give you 26. So, 26 times 2 plus will give you... Yes, your final answer now is 52 square meters. Ito yung kakailangan ni JM para ma mabalot yung regalo niya. This is the last module that will be included in your quarter 3 in your Mathematics 6. Watch out for this because I'll be uploading this anytime this week.